Okay, I think I'm back on live. Um, I got kicked offline before. Um, and that happens a lot when I'm announcing something new. <laughs> so we're back. Okay, so to recap, you know, I've years I've been working with spiritual and soul-centered entrepreneurs and business owners um, in creating all good things for themselves when it comes to their businesses. And as the as our souls are the cent centers and creation points of our businesses, what I was saying before is there it is also the soul is also the creation point of our dream lives um, as their as our souls truth and messages and essence fountains up and out from the centers of our beings. And so I'm, I've recently been guided to really um, incorporate not just dream businesses and, and the wealth and sustainability therein or thereof, um, but I've also been guided to then have an outward formation of flow into the creation of our dream lives as well um, because what is it as above so below as throughout so within and vice versa if our lives outside of our businesses is vibrating at a lower point then we want our businesses to vibrate it's never going to work right or vice versa um, a low vibrating business is not going to feed into a high vibrating life so we want it all to widen out and fill in our 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 um, <sighs> I'm trying to think of the word as emperors and empresses and 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 sovereigns. That's really the right word. Sovereigns of our of our creations, um, sovereigns in our fields and in our businesses and in our lives. Um, it really needs to be, everything needs to be um, high vibe and aligned and um, in alignment with our soul's truth. And so as I started to bring in the dream life creation piece, in addition to the dream business creation piece, I started to get this, um, and it's sort of a, a, a message that's been kind of trying to push its way through for a while now on and off you know you get those i'm sure as well um you'll get a, a little you know little whisper of a message saying a little guidance to say you know now do this now do this now do this and then you hear it and you go oh yeah that's a good idea how cool and then you don't do that <laughs> and then it comes back around again hey remember when i said do this hey do this now <laughs> so so one of these little messages that i that i'd been receiving on and off is to um, become a, uh, some sort of a certified plant-based nutrition coach for lack of a, a more specific way to say it right now. And I've been vegetarian for 39 years, not for health purposes. That's not how it started. Um, but, but because I'm so connected and aligned with the animals of earth and I had an animal kindness awakening right as I was turning 12 years old um, in this lifetime on earth um, and realized, and I'd always loved animals and had sort of an animal communication thing going on as a small child. And, and, but you know, there's this divide in consciousness between how much you love animals and also completely blanking out on how much you love them when you're eating them. So it's, <laughs> it's a, um, it's almost like a split personality thing, but the conscious part of you knows how much you love animals and then the sub or unconscious part of you blanks out on that when it comes to, um, you know, butchering and, and what happens before that. <laughs> Killing, there was a word though, slaughtering and, and um, you know, so it's like a divided consciousness and it, it there's no there's no balance there and so so i i never in a million years thought that i was going to and the well here's another part of it is that i'm a medical intuitive so and i know how to help people heal just using vibrational medicine and energy healing and energy work um so a physical piece of of 
actual physical nutrition and food, it had never, before it started to come in as guidance, I, I had never really considered it. Um, although on social media, on Twitter especially, I'm always like, here's a new good vegan recipe. Here's what this micronutrient can do for you. You know, so I've been, <laughs> it's like I've been living my earth purpose without even knowing it. So I'm, I've been... I've been subconsciously undivided in I was fulfilling all of my purposes, my soul, life and earth purposes, um, earth being kindness to animals, but not really understanding how that incorporated into my whole ball of dream biz and life total, totality. And um, so, yeah, so I found a, um, I think it's like a, a vegan nutrition health coach certification course and I'm in the middle of doing that right now and so but but with that and with the animal piece um, and this just makes so much more so much sense to me uh, I've always used spirit animals power animals animal totems animal medicine however you want to look at it and say it um, as part of what I do as a shaman in my shamanic healing work with my clients, even before I, I, you know, started focusing on my spiritual entrepreneur tribe, um, with with any of the my general population clients, right, Gen Pop, um, weird, but um, <laughs> it, it, you know, channeling animal messages, bringing in animal energy to help with the healing, it's just always something that I've that I've been doing ever since I first had my first shamanic healing and life coaching kind of combo practice thing. Um, and, and so to, to have been doing that for years and years, and to have been a vegetarian since age 12, because for the reason of kindness to animals, and as a self aware, self proclaimed animal channel or the animal channel, um, in the past few years, how I never saw that, you know, that it was already part of what, of what I'm doing. <laughs> now, it, and then that's so funny. And so anyway, so as that vegan certification um, coaching piece came in and the, re and the realization of, well, kindness to animals is a part of what I do. And it's a part of how I've created my my own happiness and and vibrancy when it's here and and um, kind of a youthful energy and quality, um, a lightness of to my being. Animal kind kindness is a huge part of that. And so when all this started to come together pretty recently and, and show itself that it was already here and that I was was already doing it, it also had a name for itself. It showed me vegan energetics. Ooh, I'm getting scalp goosebumps. <laughs> Um, goose, see, even even not on purpose, I'm bringing animals into it. Um, and what ve vegan energetics is, and I, I'll, I'll, I'm a vegetarian, and I eat primarily plant-based. I will have a pizza every now and again. I will have a couple of eggs every now and again. If I buy eggs at the store, I always make sure they're cage-free. The chickens still don't want us to eat their eggs. They don't want us to do that. So, but, so I'm not fully 100% perfect within the realm of what, of what I'm, you know, what's meant to be taught through me. Um, um, and, and, you know, if, when I, if I ever buy cheese, I look for vegetarian rennet in the cheese instead of the animal rennet, which is a, an enzyme extracted from a cow's stomach or a calf's stomach. So I'm conscious of, you know, trying to look for the kinder dairy products but in reality the cows don't want us to drink their milk it's for their babies right <laughs> so there's that's a whole ball of wax that you know i'm not going to get into all that now but i'm just sort of trying to say i am not physically i'm not a perfect vegan energetically i've always been a vegan if that makes sense because veganism isn't just about what you eat it's about you know the totality of of kindness to animals on earth period the end and and that's my earth purpose 
Um, I am, I really do when I cook at home, don't really focus on dairy at all. But, you know, again, I'm not perfect with it. So I just want to total, what is it? Disclosure. <laughs> is that right? Disclosure? You know what I mean. Um, but, but there's, but, but with it, bringing in vegan energetics, as it calls itself, it's again, it's not just the food part. It's the energy, the vibration of it all. And, and in treating all of the animals of earth with the utmost kind, kindness, it literally lightens our vibrations as humans because animals are here as, um, well, they're here as mirrors for us. They're here as teachers of our own um, journey of empowerment, of, of owning and stepping in fully into our personal power. They're also here as teachers of pure love and, and really with a focus on self-love because how can we be or have pure love if we don't fully love ourselves? Ooh, I've got a comment, how exciting. When I heard you introduce vegan energetics, I thought it seemed like a way you are synergizing your strong conviction to protect animals with your healing work. So it does feel like you are embodying what is in your soul and bringing it out to the outside world. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, my translator, Kian. You always know exactly what my soul is saying. <laughs> now I have goosebumps on my arms. Geesey. Geesebumps. Um, exactly. Thank you. Oh, wait, is there more? Oh, no, there's not. Okay. <laughs> then there's just me under there with no comment. Okay. Thank you. That's perfect. Um, you literally, like, one of your businesses, Kian, well, I mean, and I know this this has been <laughs> your business in the past, but you, you literally help business people with translating what wants to come through their soul, and you're so gifted at that. It's amazing. Thank you. Um, oh, my gosh. Everyone read his comment, their comment. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay, utter excitement and um, exactly. And so, so yeah, it's, it's just, it just feels so solid. And, and another part of it is that while I, while I have had a business in helping, you know, soulpreneurs, spiritual entrepreneurs, for a really long time, um, and, and I do love it, there was like a piece of it missing, which has made me kind of float into the ether a bit, where I just wasn't grounded in it anymore. I wasn't, there was something not, um, you know, pulling me down to earth with it. And, and I was sort of just letting it not fly totally by the wayside, but also not putting like a lot of oomph into it. And, but bringing in the vegan energetics and the kind, the love of animals and the kindness to animals, it, it, it stokes the flame of passion for me. Um, it really, really is my earth purpose. And, and that, that was the piece that was, it wasn't missing as I, as I re came to realize, I just wasn't clear that it was fully present. I wasn't, as Kian said, I wasn't fully embodying it. And there is something when you're fully embodying your purposes, you feel so different and so so much more alive and and more full not full in a heavy dense way but full in a in a in a light buoyant way um and excited again it has it has stoked the flames of my excitement again um and I don't want to get overly excited and freak out because I'll lose oxygen in my brain. So I'll probably wrap this up pretty soon. Um, yeah, when I'm channeling and when I'm channeling information, I I think I sometimes forget to breathe and then I feel really lightheaded. So I'm, I'm getting to that point <laughs> as Kian knows and is totally, um, you know, probably thinks that's normal at this point. My, audi my audience member here, my, my lovely soul, who has been such an, a supportive guide for me um, over the years. Thank you. Um, and that's it. So I haven't fully incorporated all of this information in with my like 
marketing pages and, and the d descriptions, the blurbs in my social medias, uh, uh, social media <laughs> spaces. <laughs> That's what this means, spaces. And, um, and so this is just me sort of really getting it out to the world and I'm, and I'm gonna start updating all the information um, all, all around, almost at all around the world, sort of, actually, that's true. <laughs> My social media is global. <laughs> so I will update it all around the world with the vegan energetics and be talking more about that. I will be um, offering a beta, six week, six week beta vegan energetics program one-on-one -on -one with a handful of people um, uh, before I, I bring it, you know, kind of more widespread. Um, I've already got it going on in my membership, which right now is at astratheshaman.com slash academy. It's the Dream Biz and Life Academy. Um, and again, on that page i don't talk about vegan energetics yet this is but but it's there it's energetically <laughs> and vegany <laughs> it's there and um and yeah and and the last little piece i want to say is that for several months now the animals of earth have literally the when when i say the animals it's like hashtag the animals i literally mean all of the animals because that's when i'm channeling the animals that's what i'm channeling them all as 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 one <laughs> oh <laughs> um they they are a being the animals and um they have been telling me for quite some time now that they are the ones coming through me for instance in my membership when i am helping people with anything with their dream business in life uh, you know and and bringing in the animals um energy and channelings and that this is they've been the ones who are helping me be what i am here to be for you guys um so and i just never really said that out loud per se I may have said it like within the membership group, which is, you know, private. And so it's not like I'm shouting it from the rooftops to the whole world. Now I am. <laughs> so there. Okay. All right. Well, I love you guys. And um, I look forward to channeling the animals some more for you soon. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you again, Kian. Amazing.